Good morning all. I recently bought a couple of these eight digit seven segment LED displays. Uh, this one with just displays is based on the Max 7219 and uh, this one which has displays, discrete LEDs and some key switches uses the TM1638 and it's this board that I want to have a look at today. So let's have a closer look at this chip. It's the TM1638. Let's try and get it in the light. There it is. And also, let's look at the connection interface. We've got five pins, and they are VCC ground, strobe, clock, and DIO, data input output. Now, I spent a number of hours looking at this thing yesterday, but it turns out that it's actually very easy to drive. There is a library for uh, this chip, but you don't really need it because it's so simple. But you wouldn't think that when you look at the data sheet. The data sheet is a complete mess. And uh, the eBay listing for this thing isn't a lot better. So here's the one I bought on eBay. It's really very cheap. It's just uh, £1.92. There is 69p postage. And I got this from Lakey X 101 now here's some so-called data for this thing. Uh, rated voltage DC 12 volts? I don't think so. Rated speed 9500 RPM. And what's this? Bearing structure free maintenance dual ball bearings. This is completely the wrong data. This relates to something else entirely. And uh, below that this is a little bit better. We've got eight keys, eight LED common cathode. Yes it is a common cathode. Uh, uses the TM1638 digital tube drive chip and uh, how to connect VCC ground, 5 volts, yes it is 5 volts and we've got strobe, clock and DIO. So let's get the data sheet. Now you may want to put TM1638 file type PDF so that you only get PDF results and uh, here immediately we've got a result with the data sheet TM1638. Let's open that up. So this is a Titan Microelectronics LED driver controller, uh, LED driver with key scan interface, MCU digital interface, data latch, LED high pressure driver, not sure what that means. Key scan is integrated into a single chip used for fridges, air conditioning and home theatres. Power CMOS technology display mode, 10 segments by 8 grid, key scan 8 by 3 bits. Uh, Grey adjust circuit, well that just means brightness control. Serial connection, clock, strobe, DIO. There's a built-in oscillator, 450 hertz. Now that's for the multiplexing, we'll have a look at that later. And a built-in power on reset. Okay, so far so good. So here's a pin diagram and then we'll go a little bit further down. And it is useful to know what the uh, various signal definitions are. So let's take a look at strobe. Initialize serial interface during the falling rising edge, then receive instruction. The first byte as instruction when strobe is low, another disposal would be closed during handle the instruction. Clock would be ignored when strobe is high. Oh dear, it's already gone downhill. And now we come to chart two, which is completely unfathomable. Um, even after having worked with this chip for about four or five hours, I still don't quite understand what they're getting at there. There's some stuff on the key scan circuitry. And then we come to the instruction descriptions. And uh, these make a little more sense, but it's not well explained. OK, that's enough of the data sheet for the moment. Let's actually hook this thing up to an Arduino. And I've connected it to a cheap clone Arduino. These use the CH340 USB to serial driver and uh, the reason I like these clone Arduino Unos is because you get both female and male header pins so I can use my female to female connection wires to hook it up to the display. Now I've connected VCC and ground here on black and white and these three pins 8, 9 and 10 I've connected up to strobe, clock and DIO. So I've opened a, a brand new Arduino sketch and uh, all I've put in there so far are these three constants. Strobe is 8, clock is 9 and DIO is 10 so that I no longer have to refer to them by number. I can refer to them by name and that makes a lot more sense. 
OK, back to the data sheet. Now, this says data receive write data, but actually this really should be write command. And the process is that we take strobe low and then we put data on the DIO line and then we send a clock pulse. And we do that eight times in order to send eight data bits serially to the chip. And then we bring strobe high. Now, this looks very complicated, but actually Arduino makes this very simple if we use the shift out function. So here we are on the Arduino website. We're at arduino.cc, English reference, shift out. And here's the uh, in the learning section how to use shift out. Now, they don't give a clock diagram, which would be quite useful. Uh, something a bit like that diagram in the data sheet. But what they do do is have some examples here. So it's shift out, data pin, clock pin, uh, LSB or MSB first, and then the data that you actually want to send out. Now you can see from the data sheet that uh, bit B0 goes out first and bit B7 is last. So this is least significant bit first. So we need to use the shift out function with an LSB first. So back to the Arduino sketch. Now I've added a few things into the setup function. Uh, pin modes for strobe, clock and DIO to set them all to outputs. If I don't set them to outputs, I won't be able to write anything from them. Here I've got a digital write strobe low, that was on the data sheet. Now I've got my shift out. I've changed these names to match my names, DIO, clock, CLK, LSB first, uh, which is the bit order. And now we have to decide what individual byte of data, this is actually a control command that we're gonna send out uh, before we then take strobe high again. So we need this table of instructions, and this is called display control. And what this really is, is about setting the brightness. Um, they call it clean light quantity set. <laughs> I call it brightness. Um, so you can set it to 1 16th, 2 16th, 4 16th, and all these other numbers. But crucially, we have here turn off and turn on. And these are controlled by these two bits here. Now, it doesn't tell you what the default settings are. But fairly obviously, the default is for it to be off. And that's very sensible. You don't want displays coming on with random data on them until you've had a chance to initialize them with your own data. So we can assume that the default state is here with the display turned off. We want to turn it on. So we want one, zero. Now, these two are don't cares. They call them irrelevant, which is fair enough. One, zero, zero, zero. So that's eight and then one, zero, zero, zero. So 88 would do that, would do this, but let's turn it on with full brightness. Now the maximum brightness is here with the lower three bits all set to ones. So I want one, zero, 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 that's eight, one, 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 that's F. I want eight F. So here it is in the Arduino sketch, uh, hexadecimal eight F. Uh, you specify hexadecimal by putting a 0x, so it's 0x8f, and this is it. I think if we compile this and send it to the Arduino, we should get the display to come on. And uh, after compiling that and uploading it to the Arduino, the display has indeed come on. That's got sort of random data. I've got a bar there and one of these discrete LEDs has come on and there's a dot there. But it's lit up and it's lit up at full brightness. So it's that easy. That's how we send a command to the TM1638.